Hi guys, it's Dr. Celine with BU Medical. I wanna to talk to you about my workhorse laser, which is the CO2 laser. It's my big daddy, and that will always tell you guys that. We have little small lasers, medium lasers, and big daddy lasers. This is my big daddy. It's used for a lot of different things. Let me tell you how the process works. It's a big procedure, so you typically need a consultation first. It's not something that you just come in and say, hey, I want my CO2. No, you gotta do a pre-consultation, and we do a little pre-op beforehand. We make sure you're a good candidate, that your skin can tolerate it, that you have pain medications and relaxation medications ahead of time, as well as numbing cream. Those are all optional as far as the medications that you take by mouth, but the topical numbing is not optional. You will want that. So what you do is you come in prepped for the treatment. You wanna look at your post-op instructions before you even come in because post-op, you might wanna use vinegar soaks. You might wanna get our liquid sunshine, CBD oil for recovery, or you might wanna get Aquaphor. It really depends on you and how you want to help your healing process. We typically recommend maybe some Aquaphor, maybe some oil to help with the healing process. And I don't don't take the time to do the vinegar soaks. I haven't found them to be that helpful, but if you look online, you'll see that oftentimes recommended and it will be in our post-care instructions just so you have that option. So beforehand, we want you to be prepared to know what you're coming in for. This is a downtime procedure. So this one, you wanna be ready to be down, have everything at home. You're not going out for the next four to seven days. It depends on how quickly you heal, but you want everything in the house before you even get this treatment done. And you will want a driver if you decide to take medications beforehand. So you come in totally numb. I typically say put the numbing cream on at an hour before and a half hour before. So you're as numb as possible. You wanna put it all over, slather yourself in this thing. If you're just doing the face, do the full face. If you're doing lower neck, go ahead and do that as well. Remember the lower neck does take a lot longer to heal, so you want to make sure that you really are prepared for that longer healing time of the neck versus the face. And so what you do is you come in, you're already pre-numbed up, you're gonna be asked to wash your face, wash that all off, that feels really weird because you're numb and you don't feel a whole lot. You're gonna lay down in the chair, there's gonna be a little vacuum that you're gonna hear a sound to because it's gonna vacuum all the dead cells that can come float in the air, which we don't want. And then you're gonna hear a little buzzing treatment where the nurse practitioner will use the machine to put little layers of laser beams into the skin. What it does is it puts a little matrix into the skin that causes injury to the skin and allows the surrounding healthy skin to help that recover. So there's some deep methods that some lasers that go in deep and then there's some that go in deep and medium. So we can pick different settings depending on what your issues are. If you have really aggressive smile lines, smokers lines, those sorts of things in the lower face, we may use a mode called the fusion mode, which is a little bit more aggressive and will require more downtime. But typically on the average person, we do full deep mode on the full face. Face. You walk out looking with these little grid marks, you look a little swollen, you look a little white, and it looks a little red. But the real recovery comes in day twos and three where you wake up and there's this crusting. I always say, if you don't look like you ran out of hell, you should. So the uglier it looks, the better. You can have oozing, you can have blistering. If we do the eyelid area, it can sometimes swell your eyes almost shut first thing in the morning. As you're sitting up throughout the day, that drains out so then your eyes can open a little bit easier. But remember, because this is a big daddy, we wanna go and get results. Results. So we want you to look crazy and we want you to get a little bit oozy and all those good things that are gonna help recovery. Remember this is an ablative laser, which means it's ablating that top layer. I liken it to hardwood floors. If you have a bunch of scratches on a hardwood floor, you're gonna go in and resurface those hardwood floors by shaving off that top layer. It's the same with the skin. So this is ablative technology that is gonna shave that top layer off, hopefully with a little bit of your pigment, hopefully hopefully with a little bit of your fine lines and wrinkles, and hopefully with some scarring that you may have. Now keep in mind that if you have really deep scarring, acne scarring, pits, really deep wrinkles that have been there for a long time, this may require a series and often does. But if it's just kind of one overall treatment, I haven't done a CO2 in about three years now because it, the recovery process is a little intense. And that's typically what I recommend is a full CO2 every two to three years. But if you're addressing things like acne scarring, pitting, really deep wrinkles, we may need to repeat that as soon as six months. So keep that in mind. 
fall and winter are the best times to do this, including maybe spring, but as we get into the summer, remember this is healed, as the skin heals, it's like baby skin. You don't want it out in the sun, you don't want it out in the elements, you gotta baby this thing. So if you're not ready to take care of your skin afterwards, don't even start. I once had a patient who went out and sunbathed in Hawaii afterwards, and I was like, that was totally the wrong patient selection. We also have to be careful on which patients we choose for this. It's typically a lighter skinned patient treatment and darker skin types. We have other options and other lasers that we can use to treat any issues that they might have as well. It's a beautiful treatment. Even for me who has some Hispanic heritage in me, I have to be careful with hyperpigmentation. So oftentimes we'll recommend our crack pads or our lessening pigment pads that help take away that possibility of even pigmenting in the first place. It does make a significant difference. If you look at before and after pictures, it typically takes off five to 10 years on any given face. It's a beautiful treatment. It's definitely a go-to if you have the time to do this. I have a few celebrities and a few people who are on TV that I will recommend a series of these treatments so that way we can get good topicals into their skin and then we can use filler afterwards to kind of modify. But especially people who have their face on camera, we want to take care of the root of the problem, which is the fine lines, loss of elastin, loss of collagen, and this helps rebuild all that. So it's a beautiful, beautiful treatment if you can do the downtime that is required of it. If you have any questions at all, we're here to help you. Look at our before and after online. Take a look at our Instagram feed and you can see some people on there as well. Remember, we're here to serve you. We want you guys to look great so you can feel great so you can do great things. Take care guys. Bye-bye.